Well, it's a big game this week for the Saints against GWS in Canberra. It's been a while since the Saints actually played in the nation's capital, and I've got with me one of the most famous products of the area, Aaron Hamill. Aaron, what are your memories of growing up in Canberra? Uh, well, it's not the warmest place in the world, Canberra. I remember uh, sort of under sixes, under sevens, kicking the uh, kicking the frost off the grass. But it was um, look, it's a good place to grow up. It was uh, fantastic sporting facilities, which was my priority. Um, you know, it's not a not a big town, but um, you know, the RS, which I spent a fair bit of time at, um, is a is a fantastic facility, and um, all the all the sporting events that they have there in terms of. You know the, the state championships. You know that I, I played a fair bit of fair bit of basketball and did a lot of athletics. Um, and obviously, when I was about 14, 15, I um, had to choose one or the other. So footy, footy was great. And then I was uh, fortunate enough to be coached by uh, Cowboy Neil, who's a famous saint. So yeah, some some really good, some really fond memories uh, growing up there. So footy's obviously not the number one sport in the area. What was it like for a, a young kid who obviously wanted to pursue a sport that may not have been that popular among his peers? Yeah, it wasn't dominated like Melbourne is from AFL. We had basketball, we had, um, you know, the rugby league was really big. Canberra Raiders back in sort of, you know, late 80s, early 90s when they when they dominated the competition. Um, then rugby union came in, they tried a bit of soccer, that wasn't all that su successful, but... There was a, there was a spread of, of sports, so it was um, which was which was good for me. I tried them all, um, but I always played footy since I was sort of you know six or seven. So um, that was really my um, my passion and uh, and goal was to play football. But um, but yeah, it wasn't dominated and saturated as, as AFL is here in Melbourne. And there are a couple of products. Uh, I think they might be a couple of years older than you, James Hurd and, and Nathan Buckley. Apparently played one year there. I don't know if you had much to do with yeah, them as kids. I didn't know about. I didn't know about Bucks. But yeah, Hurdy, uh, we went at the same draft number seventy nine. Yeah. Um, Jezelenko, the famous Jezelenko, is a Canberra boy. So Justin Blumfield, two thousand yeah. premiership. So yeah, we've had a couple. Brett Allison is another one. So we've had a couple. Um, Lenny Hayes played there in the New South Wales uh, ACT Rams. So that was he was there for a couple of years I think before he got drafted and yeah heard he played for his for Ainsley a bit and struggled to get a game in the twos up there so and then uh, Shooty obviously saw something in him and, yeah. and the rest is history but um, yeah yeah we've had a, I grew up with Justin Blumfield for you know since we were about seven or eight so um, we got drafted the same year so that was great to see um, and we got drafted to both clubs we barracked for Essendon and, and Carlton so that was a bit bit of a fairy tale come true. And just finally, uh, a lot of Saints fans would have seen you sitting around on the bench in the last couple of years. They might not, not be fully aware of what your role is. What is your role at the club? Uh, I'm, in, I'm in development. Um, under Tony McHale, there's four of us uh, in development, um, uh, along with, uh, I help Adam Kingsley out in the forward line, basically uh, with the defensive pressure. So um, I'm really enjoying, enjoying the role and um, just got to fast track these kids. So we're, yeah, we're doing our best with it. Beautiful. All right. Thanks for the chat, Aaron. No worries.